So one of the things that I last talked to you about was installing a phone system. And uh, I have. Basically, it uses Internet Protocol or VOIP, Voice over IP, in building, but it still uses regular phone lines. And it took me a while to get it because what basically was communicated to me by the people who use the phone more than me, because I don't use it very often, was that they wanted to be able to see who was on the line, but also see who was busy and if they were uh, do not disturb. Well, so I had to set up a very long and particular way, and it didn't really work well. But everything goes to this box here. It's called a Grandstream IPBX 6202, which means it has two analog lines. Those two lines right there are our phone lines. And it goes into a switch, which then goes to three phones in our offices, our secretary, mine, and our senior pastor. Super nerdy stuff. Got it figured out to the way that works best for us. But we also have two phones that access off of Wi-Fi, and they're way down on the other side of the building, because I didn't want to run cords. I could have, and I maybe should have, but I don't want to. So because I didn't run cords, we have our router here that goes to access points. There's a big, thick black wire right here. And that one goes to switches down the hallways that has already been run. And uh, yeah, we have phones down there now. Uh, and if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, I can end up running wires from the switches that are down there into those phones. The second thing that I might have talked about, and I don't remember if I did, is that these walls used to be concrete brick, and they were six inches thick, and that was it to the outside. So when it was hot or cold in here, these walls were hotter and cold outside. So like during the summertime, the sun would beat up on this wall, and by three o'clock in the afternoon, this corner would be so hot I couldn't sit here in this corner. And I'm a guy that's always hot anyways, so I was like, man, it'd be nice if we did something. So like these bricks here, that's all of these over here. So what we ended up doing is f what they call furring out, and basically they built walls on top of walls. We put about uh, some insulation in there, some super thick insulation, and then they put drywall over the top of it. It's been mudded, and now it's got its first coat of primer. This is not going to be the color that it's going to be. That's not going to be the color it's going to be. Those lines, that's the color it's, it's going to be. You say what's the difference between that and that? It's, it's different. So we'll show you that in a little bit. And a couple other things that have been going on is we started Rooted Bible Series. It's a great Bible series. I recommend every church trying to go through Rooted. It's a lot of fun. You learn a lot about yourself and the Bible. Uh, but it's also uh, starting it with our youth. So as we were doing this office remodel, I felt kind of worthless. Still kind of do when it comes to that. I'm not good at construction. I don't really understand what's going on. My brain doesn't comprehend how to explain it to people or not explain it to people or how to ask for help or how to get involved. So most of the time I'm sitting there cracking jokes and just grabbing tools because I really honestly don't know what's going on. But I have a grandparent that owned a lot of rental properties and in that time, of uh, spending time with my grandma and grandpa over the summers, I learned to paint. Now, I won't say I'm the best painter. If I start rushing when I'm painting, I make a huge mess, as you can tell. But when I take my time, I do a pretty okay job of painting. And so that's what I've been doing this morning in my office. But people go, oh, you just spent a whole morning painting? I have two lessons I'm writing and a sermon I'm writing. Well, I have one lesson that I'm writing, I have a lesson I'm reviewing in my head that I read through yesterday, and today I'm writing my sermon. Now, I already outlined my sermon and kind of came up with the points, but now I'm writing it in my head. And this is how I work when I write a sermon. I sit there and I think through things. I research it. I outline it a few weeks ahead of time. And then when it comes to the week of, I just sit there and I, I write it out a few times in my head, and then I go and I type it out. And so after I've manuscripted it up here, then I manuscript it down here, and then I go deliver the sermon once, and then I rewrite it. And then by the time I've rewritten it, it's up here. And so then I can verbalize it. Hey. Swank. And so when I've not been painting my office and being involved in uh, church activities and doing other activities such as laser tag that I do. I usually am either streaming
Tactical jump. Tactically jumped right there. I really anticipate seeing a PMC come over a little to my left here. But, you know, I could be wrong. Often am. Are spending time with my family and that's what i have been up to the last like i don't know a couple weeks since i haven't streamed also shaved my face last night because it was bugging the tar out of me i just hope you guys know that i still love all y'all god still loves you all more than anybody else ever can i haven't forgotten about you i just been easily distracted hey. 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 Hey.